Yo, what is going on, guys? The Shooting Star Sheriff is here, and I'm finally, finally, finally coming around um, to playing Smash Rising, or just, you know, just Smash Rising in general, because I haven't played, well, I have played Smash Rising. I've been playing it for the, I've been playing it since it's released and since it's update, but I felt like I really just kind of had to figure, I really wanted to spend some time with the game, really, to kind of let you guys know, like, how I feel about it, my thoughts and stuff like that. So that's the only reason I've been like super quiet about like Smash Rising and just everything that's been encompassing it lately. Just because like I just really want to see what was going on. So I'm not really gonna break down into like any kind of uh, tips or anything for the uh, for the game or anything. I just kind of want to sit down, play the game. Um, and just kind of talk to you guys about my thoughts with the game overall. So if you guys are just hyped that you're seeing some Smash Rising on the channel, or just My Hero Academia, because I, I love My Hero Academia. I haven't stopped loving My Hero Academia. It's just it's it's just been super busy uh, lately, and I've just really want to take my time and just kind of play this game a little bit and just kind of break it down for you guys. Um, so I think the biggest thing about Smash Rising is like I know a lot of people. The aesthetics of the game is great. Um, I don't, I don't. There's nothing that like really stands out to me. Um, as far as like the uh, like, as far as like the way the game looks, I think the game looks cool. Um, I really like this whole like relationship, like kind of like bubble thing. I kind of like this relationship, which those kind of help you out on like you get like buffs and stuff. So like right now, I got like Bakugo and All Might uh, hanging out over here. Um, because, like, you know, I, I take them on missions a lot, so they're getting, you know, I'm getting buffs and stuff when I, uh, when I play missions with these guys. Um, but that's besides the point. Um, how do I feel, how do I feel about the game? I, because I feel like that's what, like, kind of like how everybody feels with this, with Smash Rising right now, is just how do you feel about the game? And it, it, it it's kind of like... It's a weird, like, I don't want to say love-hate, because, like, love and love-hate is just kind of, like, a very strong term. Um, I, I like the game, but I just feel like it's gonna take some time for the game to, like, really grow on me. And this is, this is me saying this, like, after, like, the game being out for, I think, roughly almost a month. Maybe it's been, like, maybe three, four weeks. Maybe it's approaching approaching on a month or maybe it is at a month i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure um but that's just kind of like how i feel um i think with updates it'll definitely be better um it just really takes some time to get used to because like the biggest thing i had to get used to from like transitioning was like what was happening with all my units becoming r factors and um it's weird because like I had like um, Smash Fest Momo, I had Smash Fest uh, United States of Smash All Might, I had uh, Smash Fest Suyu, um, I had uh, Izuku, um, I had a, I had a few, I had a few like really good like Smash Fest units. So like it's kind of weird to just kind of see them get converted into like an like to like this just straight stat power up. I don't know. It, it, to me, it just feels. <laughs> feels a slight bit of a cop out i'm i'm just being 100 percent transparent and just how i felt how i felt about the whole like how i felt about the whole transition of just like our units being turned into these r factors and um i mean some of them are really cool like having them like buff your stats of your character is cool in the sense to where like basically you can make any character like you can make any character strong, and then when you pull like those certain like dramatic attacks, or you you know you get those uh, attacks for your specific character, um, it does make it a lot more entertaining, or it just it, you know it makes it cool because now you can like build all these different teams, and you use those, and then you use like badges or whatever in this game. I'll, I'll, hopefully, I'll get to show it off while I you know just sit down and play some gameplay. But I really do like the fact that like it. It kind of worked like you can basically make any team and then like with your R factors you can pretty much just put together any team you actually want which is pretty neat like I think the game having like that diversity 
is is kind of cool because you can basically just put any team you want together and you know with your r factors you can kind of just like you know build like whatever kind of teams that you want because i love tokoyami so like the fact that like tokoyami can be like you know, you can literally level up those characters, give them more R Factor slots and stuff. It, it, it's cool. It's it's like a hit and miss with R Factor with me. Like, there are times where, like, I see where it's really neat. And then there are other parts of it where I'm just like, mm, I wish it was just, like, my really powerful Smash Fest unit. And that's just from coming over from Smash Tap to Smash Rising. Like... And those are just kind of my thoughts and feelings on that. But, like, once I really, like, got into the gameplay, like, I play this game pretty much on full auto. I kind of just, like, watch it. I know if you tap, you can, like, change, like, the direction of, like, who you want the characters to focus on. And there is, like, this whole, like, strategy section where you can, like, pick, like, your character strategy. Which, I don't read Japanese, guys. I have to, like, translate everything. So, like, it's, you know, like, that's kind of how I have to uh, deal with it. But, which, I mean, most of us do. Um, and, like, the whole, like, in the whole rising, like, the whole uh, rising uh, factor where it, like, buffs your character stats. But then, like, if more than one character on your team activates their rising, it stacks on top of each other. That's, that part's actually really cool. Now, you're seeing my um, relation stuff coming into effect. So, I feel like the only thing that I feel like could get stale, I mean, and, and, the, and you know, this is really going to, like, come down to, like, how this game grows as it as it progresses, is, um, you know, if you can change the attribute of any character, there really isn't a benefit to taking, like, other characters. You can unlock other characters, yes, but, like, there's really no point because, like, you're just gonna, you're just gonna keep, you're, you're just gonna keep your team, and you're just gonna switch their R factors out or whatever, however you need them. And um, I'm actually gonna just like switch this to like kind of like how I had it um, defaulted to. I think All Might was like this, and I think Bakugo was green or something like that. I think I think Bakugo was originally like blue or green. I'll make him green for this one, but. I mean, do I mean, do I like the game still? I mean, do I like Smash Rising? Yeah, I still get into, I still play it, and um, I've taken some time to like, you know, really like sit on it. Um, but anything can be better. Um, that's with any, that's anything, you know, critiquing as, as games or anything that's you know created for enjoyment. You know, these things can be better. What would I like to see? out of smash rising it really just depends on what kind of events and stuff they do like i don't know uh if they can do anything with this kind of system that would mirror the uh what was it the uh sports festival event that they had or um my favorite mo um my favorite mode back in smash tap which was a uh, battle royale the battle royale was a lot of fun um to do and just kind of grind up on that so it's gonna be it's gonna be weird because like your R factors decide like your team power, <laughs> so we'll have to see like going forward like what kind of events and stuff they can do that are pretty fun. Um, you know, pushing you know Smash Rising forward. Um, and, and then as far as like them wearing like I know a lot of people complained about it, but them like wearing their season one outfits, it's. I mean, I understand because, like, we're technically in season three, so I don't know why. Oh, season three, season four. I forget. <laughs> forget for, I forget for the anime because it's, it, the anime's done for right now. Um, yeah, they could they could have just went ahead and updated it with their with their new with their more current looks. Um, just because, like, it, it just feels weird to be like using an R factor with like full cowling deku but he's like but but the deku like in-game model is like the season one appearance so it's 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 weird it's weird um but yeah don't hate the game um still uh still like smash still like my still like i like smash rising it just i feel like it really did have to take some time to like grow on me a little bit to like you know really like be like okay this is cool i can see myself playing this but anyway guys those are kind of all my thoughts um definitely let me um 
let me know what you you guys' thoughts are about the game in, in the comment section below and um we'll definitely talk about it from there but without further ado guys i'm gonna let you guys off here and i will catch you guys in the next video peace